through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Drop it back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows ekphrastic. I get drastic. Hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave you drastic. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 170. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today we're giving our DVD rundown. Got it right. We're running down. Yeah. <laughs> for the week of July 17th. Mm -hmm. That's a Tuesday for you looking at the calendar. Already halfway through the month. Huzzah! Uh, yeah, Dark Knight yeah, yeah. Rises this Friday. Yes. Huzzah! Something to look forward to. Oh, we're, we're, we've been looking forward to that yeah. one for a while. So, in anticipation of that, mm -hmm. a bunch of mediocre DVDs. Yay! Yay! Nothing to hold, hold your breath yeah, about. No. There's some okay stuff. Yeah. Nothing particularly. Mostly just releases, yeah. though. Uh, first one we're going to talk about is a film that came out earlier this year, mm -hmm. uh, Too Much Hype, and sort of mixed response mm -hmm, afterwards, mm -hmm. Lockout. Yes, the Guy Pierce. Guy Pierce prison planet action yarn, mm -hmm. if Basically you will. Basically taken in space, as I think how people were called uh, it. Yeah, they taken in space. even had Maggie um, Grace. Yeah, as the, as the damsel in distress. I was thinking more like uh, Escape from New York. Yeah, a little, yeah no, he's very Snake Plissken yes. attitude-wise, but yes. But, you know, we've spoken before that we're both fans of Guy Pierce, mm -hmm, so we're mm -hmm. hoping that it would be good. Yeah. It was not so much, <laughs> but not necessarily because of Guy Pierce. Mm, mm. That being said, the release of it is kind of underwhelming. Not mm -hmm. anything that's going to make me re want to revisit yeah. the movie. Let's see, yeah, we got a sadly. breaking into lockout feature. Ooh. Clever name. Clever no, name. No. Into lockout. No. But um, bum bum. No. Uh, in addition, a vision of the future, production design and special effects. Um, if you've read my review or heard me speak about this movie mm. since then, mm -hmm. you will know that the special effects were one of the worst parts, oh. or at least especially in the beginning. That's There's one sequence in the beginning that is awful. Mm. And if this is the kind of stuff that they're discussing, I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> I kind of would like to, just to see how full of themselves they are. Or if they actually are like, oh god, look how bad that is. If only we had had I, 20 more dollars, we could have made I, that. I, I feel like they literally just took a video game and then cut in the like <laughs> footage of that. Because that's what it felt like. They're like, yeah man, I loved the ending of Double Dragon 7 in space. Let's throw that in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so... I personally would suggest skipping this. Maybe someday mm -hmm. there will be a better one coming out for all those hardcore lockout enthusiasts. Yeah. But I mean, if you're really desperate to buy it, I might as well. You might as well just buy like the digital download from yeah. iTunes or something. Yeah. I mean, there's really very little reason to uh, yep. get into it. But anyway, mm -hmm. in the more on. in the more interesting realm, one yeah. that actually has some legitimately interesting <laughs> features yes, to it yes. is the 60th anniversary collector's edition of Singing in the Rain. Uh, yes. It's a Blu-ray DVD combo. Um, yes, all that. And jazz. bag of chips. Does it Wait, come with no, the bag of chips? Singing in the Rain. Does it come with the bag of chips? Um, no. No, I'm not sadly, seeing bag of chips. Sadly, on the bag list. of I'm chips not seeing... is not amongst the features. Ugh. That being said, though, you know, we said we're speaking off camera that it's kind of a lame thing to do it on like a weird year, like yeah. 60th. Yeah. Obviously, you know, they're just doing that because this is the closest year that's a round number that they can do a Blu ray yeah. release on. Yeah, that's the so, big push it now is like, oh, don't have any good movies coming out, re release things. I mean, in it's, it's going to be 15 years before 75, so yeah. I can't really blame them. I mean, it's, it's going to be, you got to, you got to have each. Each version of technology yeah. you gotta have an updated yeah. release. Especially to make that you gotta get that money. That's how you make yes. that money. That being said, you know, they have limited and numbered editions, hmm. forty eight page hardcover production book with never be seen before seen memos and photos. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Those, those books um, are always really cool. In the realm of sort of like kitschy and probably unnecessary, <laughs> but maybe I'll dig it. It includes a custom full size umbrella, oh. forty inch diameter. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well. Uh Theatrical poster reproduction, mm -hmm. commentary by Debbie Reynolds, okay. Donald O'Connor, um, and a whole slew of other people, huh. actually. Um, there's a new documentary about Singing in the Rain, Raining on a New Generation, huh. is its title. Okay. Uh, Maybe that's what you need the umbrella for, to protect your, your new generation from being rained on? Possibly, I, yes. I, I, you make a persuasive argument. <laughs> I'm thinking that this is applicable to maybe Alan, you know. He's, mm, he's a big Singing in the Rain fan, so perhaps him. And then, you know... Um, there's a 
featurette called What a Glorious Feeling, The Making of Singing in the Rain. So I love making there's a, featurettes, yeah, especially yeah. on older movies. Totally, totally. So, you know, um, obviously you're not going to get new Gene Kelly. From, well, yeah. <laughs> but, nevertheless. And if you did, that'd be a whole different type of technology. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That being said, you know, it's got a, a few other neat things, and it's 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 a decent addition. Mm-hmm. You know, if you if you like Singing in the Rain, or if you like, you know, just learning about old movies, this yeah. is a pretty solid addition yeah. to go for. So, good on you for mm-hmm. that. Next up, another film from this year. It's so I, I'm 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 not gonna get you. I, I the summer always messes with my head where it's movies that came out this calendar year yes. coming out on release yes. already. It Quick just, releases. This it's thing. never what I expect. Um, Friends with Kids. Yes. This is the unofficial bridesmaid. Um, it's like sequel. Sequel. Yeah. You know, I mean, in the sense in that tongue it, in cheek. Yeah. In a sense that it has a lot of the similar actors. You know, like mm-hmm. John Hamm, yeah. Maya Rudolph, mm-hmm. all those. Chris O'Dowd. I believe. Yeah. Kristen Wiig. Kristen Wiig. Yeah. yeah. But none of them are the main characters. Yes. This, correct. This is um, Jennifer West. Mm-hmm. Westfeld. I think Westfeld. so. Yes. Yes. Um, Westfeld. Yes. And uh, Adam Scott. Adam Scott. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, who play two friends who decide to have a child together, even though they have a platonic relationship. That's right. Yes. Yeah. It's and like three couples or something. Like yes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. And so you know, um, it's it's a decent enough addition, I guess. It's got a commentary track with Westfeld and John Hamm, who I believe is actually her husband or boyfriend. Hmm. Something, some sort of relationship <laughs> like that. So didn't see it. So yeah, I couldn't tell you. Uh, it's got behind the scenes featurette, deleted scenes with commentary and mm-hmm. gag reel. I mean, fairly standard release. Nothing, yeah. nothing to write home about. Yeah. But if you if you like <laughs> friends with kids, you know, yeah, it's, it's not it's not bad. Yeah. You know, it's not bad. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, Check that out. And, you know, yeah. Jennifer Westfield is a pretty talented lady, so, you know, more power to her for that. Definitely. So, uh, the final one we're going to talk about was one of the surprises thus far mm, this mm-hmm. year, which was Casa de Mi Padre. Yes. I really had low expectations going into <laughs> seeing this. And, I I mean, I thought it was pretty good-hearted and fun. I mean, i got to be honest. That's it's, good. It's, it's pretty good-natured. And the DVD release feels fairly in tune or in line with that. I mean, you got a commentary from director Matt Piedmont, uh, writer producer Andrew Steele, and Will Ferrell, hmm. which is a pretty big combination. Yeah. Andrew Steele is one of the guys who runs Funny or Die. Gotcha. Obviously, Will Ferrell is the guy who'll be on that. Yeah. Idea. Plus, we have an interview with uh, Andrew Steele and Matt Piedmont on this very podcast Exclusive site. Exclusive here at the MacGuffin. Wow. I, I, I don't think I was the only one who interviewed them. But. <laughs> It's the it's only good. one that's exclusive to our site. That's so, what I'm saying. Yes, it's exclusive we'll take to that. our site. Um, but you know, you got that. You got a. Uh, I'm making a featurette, deleted mm-hmm. scenes, fight for love music video. Which you know, if it's anything involving Will yeah. Ferrell, it's probably going to be funny. Yeah. Faux commercials starring nice. Will Ferrell, Diego oh, Luna, probably and all Rodriguez. improvised because he's crazy like that. Probably. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just, it's a fun package for a surprisingly fun film. You mm-hmm. know. So that being said, you know, let us know what you plan to get and join Please us do. for our next episode when we talk about a Batman retrospective mm-hmm. in advance of The Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, a little movie coming out. Maybe you've heard of it. Yes. Dark and let us know your feedback about this episode at MacGuffinPodcast.com, Twitter.com slash MacGuffinCast, Facebook.com slash MacGuffinPodcast, phone number. 323-761-9842. We're on iTunes. We're on Blip. Miro, Roku. Check in. Get glue. And we'll see you next time. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The board can't stop me. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.